Hey y'all, I am Luna Ray and I'm back with another reading. I'm going to do um how does your person of interest uh feels about you right now? Spirit before I get into the reading, uh not spirit. Uh y'all, can y'all please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? Can you follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justina Nicole? Everything will be down in the description box below this video. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Um, so, Spirit can give me messages for the collective. How does their person of interest feel about them right now? How does the collective's um, person of interest feel about them right now? These the same cards that came out in my previous reading, what to expect in October. If y'all want to watch that reading, these four cards right here came out in that reading. And I shuffled this. You know what? Let me reshuffle. Because, no. Uh -uh. Spirit, how does the collector's person of interest feels about them right now. Yeah, it was the exact same cards, basically. Spirit, how does the collective's person of interest feels about them right now? Spirit, can you clarify the hangman? Can you clarify the three of pentacles in reverse? Can you clarify the four of cups in reverse, spirit? Can you clarify the five of wands in reverse? And can you clarify the two of swords in reverse? How your person feel about you? They feel like you moving on. They feel like you don't care for them. <laughs> you don't like them. Somebody feel like you have money. How your person feel about you? Somebody feel like you sitting on your throne. You sitting in your power. Uh, somebody feel that... I just heard you're looking at yourself differently. How your person feel about you? They feel like you changed. But in a positive way. Yeah, this person feel like you have some type of money or something. Stability, security. This person feel like you have something... You have some things going on for yourself. You have, yeah, this person feels like you're doing your own thing. And I just heard a good head on your shoulders. Somebody feel like you have a good head on your shoulders. Somebody feel like you're doing your own thing. You have a lot going on in your life right now. You make your money. You have money. You're stepping into your power. I have the lover's card in reverse. Somebody feel like you gave up on them. You don't like them anymore. You don't feel like this is your soulmate. Yeah, somebody feel like 
you moved on. Yeah, somebody feel like you think they childish. Um, they feel like you're not compatible. Or they feel that you think that this person is childish and that y'all not compatible. That's how they feel about you. Another message I'm getting, how they feel about you, they feel that you purposely like keeping yourself back from them, holding yourself back from them. They feel like you purposely doing that. Yeah, this person feel like you moved on. You moved on. You not looking back. You going to the future. You focusing on the present and the future. You moving on from what no longer serves you. And this person is not happy about that. I just heard disappointed. This person feel like you working on something or you have a new hobby. You have a new career. You have something, I just heard distracting. This person feel like you doing something to keep you distracted from this person so you won't come forward to them. I just heard keeping yourself busy. This person feel like you purposely keeping yourself busy just so you don't have to communicate with them or reach out to them or something. How they feel about you. They feel like you could be still angry with them. Yeah, this person feel like you. I just heard a grudge. They feel like you holding a grudge against them. I just heard not trustworthy. Yeah, this person feels like you stuck in the past and you don't want to let whatever happened between y'all go. So you purposely like keeping yourself busy. I have the five of swords out here. This person feel that they lost you. I feel like this person was playing games with you. And uh, this person always liked to have the, the upper hand or always had the one up on you. But I feel like now, since they see you not worrying about them, this person is upset and angry because they feel like they're losing the this battle or they losing their game i feel like this game that they play on people they played it on you and it's like now that you could be ignoring this person or not giving this person no attention and i feel like this person feel like a loser or they feel like they losing this game because you stepping into your power. You came somebody came up as the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like somebody feels like a sore loser. I feel that at one point in time collective, you the one that could have been um this person could have been like controlling you. Always had one up on you. Always took lead in this situation. But I feel like now is you. 
it's you that's winning. It's you that, you know, going on about your business and not worrying about this person. And this person feels some type of way. Because, like, when you give this person attention, it makes them feel good about themselves. And they feel that they got the upper hand because you reached out to them or you called them, you text them or something. But it's like now that you focusing on yourself, you moving forward, and you definitely not checking for this person. This person feel like they're losing. They lost you. How this person feel about you? They feel that, um, like, if they was to come forward, you can see right through them. You know when they're lying. You know, like, what type of games they play. You know when this person is, yeah, this person knows that you can see right through them. Or you just aware, I don't know if it's your, your third eye, your intuition, but this person knows, like, if they was to come forward, it wouldn't be successful for them. Because I have the six of swords. Oh, man. I need to... I need to get my hair done. That's why I'm not on camera. But um, for the outcome, I have the six of swords. Six of Swords, the two of two of Swords in reverse, clarified by the Six of Wands. So I feel that this person, how they feel about you, they feel that they can't come forward because you will see right through their lies, the see mind games, to where they're not gonna feel victorious. I feel like in the past this person used to lie, cheat, um manipulating all types of shit and they used to be successful at doing so so since you've been working on yourself and just doing your own thing this person feels that if they was to come forward you can see right through them and that it will not be a victory for them and actually it will be a victory for you this is how this person feel about you I just heard a fright. Somebody, um, somebody's afraid to come forward because this person see you as a different person. This person see you as like a queen or a king or some shit. Like you are not the same from when y'all were together or when y'all used to talk. And another message I'm getting, you not the same, but this person is still the same. That's another reason why they don't want to come forward and talk to you. And they're going to, and they feel that you're going to see like, man, this person still stupid. This person still like on the same bullshit. But yeah, that's all I got for this reading. Yeah, this person feel like you'll, you'll see right through their ass. But thank you. Bye-bye.